Think with the devil at your own risk. All right, hello everybody. This is Nick from thearcadehunters.com. I'm back once again at Generations Beyond here in Ronkakuma, New York, home of the Long Island Arcade Club. This is uh, one of Brendan's games that he owns in his collection from 1990. This is Roller Games. This game was um, kind of a history behind this, you know. A lot of people out there, if you're uh, younger, you know, if you weren't in the 80s and the 90s, this was actually based off of a roller derby TV show called Roller Games, and a lot of people might remember there was also um, a couple of video games came out. I'm pretty sure there was an arcade game, but a lot of people will know of the very infamous game that Konami made on the Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> and um, I guess they were trying just to get their name out. And what was funny was they were actually saying when they were going for the uh, choice of licenses with the game, they had the choice of roller games, and they also had the choice of American Gladiators. And I guess they just said, you know, I guess roller derby sounds like a better idea for pinball because, you know, you're obviously rolling around the ball and you're rolling around on roller skates. So they went with that instead of having an uh, American Gladiators game. And I think what they were saying, uh, what Brennan was telling me, was that, you know, when uh, they were literally, you know, these games were coming off the assembly line and the show was just canceled. So kind of unfortunate that it happened, but... Um, it's obviously a very popular game because, uh, you know, Steve Ritchie is the designer of it. And this was actually supposed to be uh, rumored that this was going to be a sequel to High Speed. And, you know, obviously it became this. So, yeah, have right here, you're right there, It's uh, this says multi-ball on there, and that's war. And you want to spell out war, you have to knock those down. And right here on the right flipper, you'll write up here into the wall of death. Right there, there's the wall of death, and you'll write up the wall of death, and that is for your multi-ball, and you can stack up three multi-balls, uh, three balls in there, and you'll start the multi-ball. Uh, right here, one of the very important uh, features is the pit. Now, this will kick out onto this yellow, tar this yellow ramp, and there is a little magnet right there, and that magnet will actually stay on, hold the ball for three seconds, and then you have to flip it. And thankfully, um, we had gotten... Um, brand new uh, flippers on this game, so it hits pretty much almost every time. It's got uh, probably about like a 90 to 85 percent accuracy on it. And one of the th worst things about this game is why it'll never make a plastic set for it. As you can see, it has licensed property, so it's licensed by Pepsi, Mug Root Beer, Thermos, Slice, and this is one of my favorites, yes, Game Pro Magazine <laughs> was a sponsor of Roller Games, so... And it's actually over here, it actually says Game Pro, Thermos, Pepsi. So that's why they'll never make uh, plastics other than the um, the kickback, the kick sleeves over here. Those little roll skates they make. So, you know, it being a Steve Ritchie game, it's a lot, it's super fast. It's got a lot of cool combo shots that you can do. You get the devastating combo where if you shoot the left ram for the getaway and you shoot right into the wall of death, you'll get a devastating bonus. So... It's a pretty cool game, don't knock the theme. I know a lot of people will see this game, and if they remember the NES game, they'll probably be turned off by it. But it's a pretty good game, so we're going to set up the tripod, and we're going to give a game of Roller Games a play. So come along with me, and let's get on those Rock and Roller Games. All right, folks, let's get our Rock and Roller Games. Here we go. This is another game that um, we uh, cleaned up and uh, replaced a lot of stuff. We were having a bad problem with uh, right here on the magnet. It's going to hold hold the bowl. So we get an instant lock. And let's see if we can get it up there. Yeah, we got the ball. Oh, it's already got two balls locked. So here we go. We got the multi ball right on camera. So one thing that uh, you can set in the game if um, the game stays on or not, you can keep the uh, balls that were already locked. And of course, we want to get the uh, the wall on the on the other flipper to get the jackpot. It's a Steve Ritchie game. What do you expect? It's gonna be balls hard. Let's see if I can get it. No, you gave it to me. There we go. Well, 
you know, it's still, it's a, it's a stupid theme when you think it's just roller derby, you know, just being a New Yorker, I'm not into the, into that stuff, never went to a roller derby, and I know some people, are like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, I guess it just fit, fit the theme better than uh, American Gladiators, you know, you had the, uh, the one scene with the assault, but that was about it, you had the, I they just figured, you know, you know, balls roll, balls roll, roller games, why not? A lot of people seem to give this game, uh, I like to give it flack, but, you know, it is, take it for what it is, you know, one thing it is, you know, it's from Steve Ritchie, you know, most of his games are very, very good, you know, it also helped create the SRB, as we know, <laughs> one of those guys. Go. I'm going to try to spell out the war for our multi ball. Come. Ah, oh, right down the toilet. You can see, I got one. At least I got a jack on the camera. So. It's a free play game, so who cares if we're gonna put another game on? We're gonna do better. You got the gateway. When he says that, that means the lock is lit. Oh, cool! I just got the uh, the kick save. Oh, should, should have nudged it. Still trying to get used to the move, still, guys. So. Push a little bit forward. My chin's kind of hitting me, uh, hitting the camera. Come on. Come on. Here we go. There's the combo. Devastating combo. It always gives you 100,000. So I got the first balls locked. Comes back down to the right. See if we can get back into the pit and it'll give us a random award. We got the lock enabled again. So now I really want the uh, magnet. Magnet is very, very helpful. There we go. So you know, the roll motion is going to give us. We got another teamlet. And a magnet song, so let's see if that'll help us. And yes, it did. So we got our second, second ball lock. I'm screaming back down. That was a bad idea for a short plunge. I don't really want to do a short plunge on this game. Usually you can get lucky with the, uh, the extra flipper up there to knock into the uh, into the war targets. This just looks like a job for backhanding. Good sound in uh, hopefully it says uh, Dan Toasty Forden did the uh, sound, so hopefully that means he also did the music. Um, if he did do the music, then good job on he did the music too. Absolutely terrible on this ball. But it's playing so much better since uh, Brendan basically just had to take everything apart. Ever skate over here? All right, now we have the sudden death, which is you know we have to do the wall. So I'm going to go for the wall. Every time I shoot the wall, it's a million points. The sudden death, one million. The best thing is they always put the magnet on, so if you can keep doing the magnet shot, and if I can get the war, not only will it start multi-ball, but now I have my lock enabled. Now I'm really on the gun. I'm not try to get control. Go, go, go! 
Have the JET up there that. Magnet, got it. So hopefully we'll get it. There we go. And we got it. And they come. There we go. Here we go. Got it. Good for 1.6 million. Ah. And the extra ball, that'll be a Jim Dandy. And I screwed up. So kids, that right there is a look at Steve Ritchie's Roller Games. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, I'm Nick from TheArcadeHunters.com. Thanks to Generations Beyond. Thanks to Brendan and everybody here from the Long Island Arcade Club for having us. And thanks very much for watching. Be sure to check in with more of our videos here. And we'll talk to you later.